What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of the 1981 GSA 50 Scrambler build. Um, in this episode, I'm going to show you guys how to clean your old dirty engines. Uh, a lot of times on these bikes, people make the paint job real nice, make everything real nice, and then they just leave the engine looking crummy like this. Um, for me though, I'm not going to do that, and I'm going to show you guys how to make your engine look brand new like it just came off the just came from the dealership um because this this bike is almost 40 years old so it's the engine over time gets a lot of uh oxidation it is aluminum so it does oxidize um and you kind of just lose that shine that it had when it was brand new but um, i'm gonna show you guys how to get your engine to look brand new again so I'm going to show you guys what you're going to need for this job. Um, it does take a lot of elbow grease. It takes a lot of determination to really get this thing to shine. You can do it um, in not that long and make it look all right, but I'm going to be putting all the time into it that it needs. I'm going to make this thing shine like a diamond. Um, so without further ado, let's show you guys what you need to do this job. guys and we're gonna start off with the engine degreaser you definitely want to get the whole engine cleaned off of all oil and grime and whatever else will be on your engine because uh you want it clean before you start polishing or else you'll actually make it worse when you try to rub dirt around all over the engine so obviously we're gonna go ahead and use this engine degreaser and spray it all over the engine let it sit on there and foam up a little bit and then clean it off with a just a little bit of water and a towel. So let's go ahead and get this stuff sprayed on. As you can see, uh, as soon as it hits the surface, it starts foaming up. That's how you know it's working, people. It's gonna look like you kind of just sprayed whipped cream all over your engine, like it's a hot fudge sundae. Uh, that's how exactly how you want it to look. Okay guys, so as you can see, the uh, just the degreaser made the engine look 10 times better. Um, in spots where there used to be just black, nasty oil buildup that's now just clean metal. 
And all I had to do was spray on that foamy stuff, let it sit for five, 10 minutes, and then spray it off with a hose. So that took very minimal labor and it made it look that nice. So you guys can just imagine how nice it's gonna look with uh, a lot of labor. And that brings up the next step, which is I am going to take those sanding pads, they're 120 grit, and uh, I put them in my drill, and I'm just gonna go ahead and brush the whole surface of the, of the engine. Some spots you won't be able to get to with this, obviously, um, but for those, I'm gonna use something different. So let's go ahead and clean off this engine, guys. I know it looks like I'm actually roughing the surface up more than it was before I'm doing this, but actually guys, it's I'm taking off all the oxidation um, and then after that I'm going to polish it. But you can't polish it until you get the surface actually cleaned up of all the oxidation. Yuck. Um, I can already tell I'm going to have to take this brake pedal off to get to the whole thing. Okay guys, this is already looking so much better. Look, you can see my reflection in it now. I didn't list this in the beginning of the video, but steel wool uh, definitely helps with this job. As you can see, I, I couldn't really get in between the letters, but with steel wool, you can get in between the letters. And voila. So I found that steel wool actually works really great for cleaning the fins on these engines. Okay guys, so we've got all of the oxidation off of the crankcase here. And as these drill attachments do take all the oxidation off, they do leave some deep scratches. And those can really only be removed by sandpaper. And I've found that the best sandpaper to use is to start out with 500 grit and then move up to a thousand grit so i'm going to go ahead and sand this and then it will make it look less polished but it, um, if you polish it how it is now you're going to have a nice finish but there are still going to be some deep scratches that you can't get out with polishing uh, so i'm going to go ahead and sand this and then show you guys how it's looking As you can see, it does make it look more dull, but trust me, it'll make it look better in the end. So now I'm going to go ahead and move up to the 1000 crit. Okay guys, and now it's time for the polishing. The polishing kit from Harbor Freight comes with a kind of rounded, flat buffing wheel like this, and it also comes with three different compounds to use. Uh, first, you want to use the black one, which gets the big scratches out and then you want to do the brown one which gets the medium scratches out and then lastly you want to use the white one which is the fine polishing compound it really brings out the shine so I'm going to start out with this black one there
alcohol in a towel gets that off very well. And some elbow grease. So I just found out that paint thinner actually works a lot better at getting that compound off. Okay, and now I'm going to move up to the last compound, which is the white one. And I'm going to use a different buffing wheel because this one seems to be pretty clogged up. Perfect mirror. And that was done in under half an hour, and it looks that nice. Uh, this step isn't really necessary, but this piece here was black before. Um, it was kind of scratched up, so that's why I sanded it off. But I think I'm going to paint this black again, and then I'm going to get some sandpaper on a flat piece of wood or something. And I'm going to scratch just the letters off so they shine and the rest is flat black. I'm going to use some high heat engine enamel. And also, I think that these valve covers would look good flat black too. And I cut out um, a hole in this piece of paper. So I'm going to glue this on so that I just get paint on the part that I want painted. Okay guys, and after a few failures, I actually found out that steel wool is the best thing to use to take the paint off of the letters. And I found out that a sanding sponge block like this works really good at taking the paint off of the so, uh, off the semicircle here. I've had so many people tell me to do this. A guy even DM'd me on Instagram telling me that I should paint the bolts. So, to make you guys happy, there you go. I painted the bolts. I think it looks a lot better too, actually, but... Snowball fight. Well, guys, we made it to the end of the video. Um, I think the engine looks a thousand times better, and that really didn't take me too long. You could put a lot of time into it, getting in between every little crack and everything. But, um, you know, I just did just a basic overall polishing and cleaning up job and it made the engine look just so much better. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed the video, just showing you guys that you can do this too for like under $30 and it'll come out looking so much better. Also, I painted the, uh, the bolts holding the battery cover black because some, so many of you guys told me that you wanted them black and uh, truth be told, I wanted them black too. I was just too lazy to paint them black, uh, but now I did, and I'm happy that I did because they look a lot better. So thank you guys for giving me suggestions in the comments. I'm always open to reading them, and if it's a good suggestion, if I think it's something I would want to do to my bike, then I will do it. So if you guys have any suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, give me a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, uh, just subscribe and you'll get notified when I post a new one. Um, also, I, I know a lot of you guys want to see moto vlogs, more moto vlogs. Um, as you can see, it's a bit snowy out today, uh, so it's kind of hard to do moto vlogs. It is the winter and it, it does get cold, but all that aside, I'm going to be doing a moto vlog in the snow and it'll be out pretty soon, uh, so hopefully you guys will like that one. I don't think I have anything else to say. I think this is the end of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for the next one and see you next time, guys. Peace out.